Hey guys, it's Pamper Chef Cindy right down here. <laughs> I have to hurry because I've been looking for some stuff here and taking my time. And I'm making something that I made for the very first time in this quick cooker, which is the red lentil and spinach soup. That's what we're having for dinner tonight. So inside here, as you can see, that's really seared up already. I just turned that part off, is one onion, three carrots, supposed to be two cloves of garlic, I put in three. <laughs> All right, so that was on the sear mode for about three to four minutes. Look at it, if you can see, it's gorgeous, right? All right, get the rest of this garlic out of here, because you got to use it all up. Hope everybody's having a great day. So once this part is all seared, which it is, like I said, I turned it off. And now we're gonna add most of the um, other ingredients. The end is where we're gonna finish it off. So what are we gonna put in now is a cup of red lentils. If you don't have red lentils, you can use just regular ones too. And four cups of some broth. It could be vegetable broth like it calls for, or it could be chicken broth, whatever you want. We're putting in a bay leaf. Let's get a beautiful one here, okay. Some cumin. It's supposed to be about a teaspoon. You know, I don't measure. <laughs> so, that ah, looks about good. And this is what it looks like, just so you can see what it will look like. There's the lights, okay. So um, let me just double check. We have the stock, we have the lentils, we have the cumin, we have the bay leaf, and some salt and pepper. So the recipe also calls for some celery in there, and I didn't put celery. My husband's not a fan of celery. And instead of salt, I'm actually gonna use some celery salt. Shh, don't tell him that it's in there. All right. So that's gonna take the place of that. Of course, we'll hit it up with a little bit of fresh ground pepper. It's a vegetarian dish that is also vegan. So to thicken it up later, this gets some coconut milk in it, and we're gonna hit it with some fresh lime at the end, which really, really makes it delicious. And it is called red lentil and spinach soup. So also after this part is all cooked, we're gonna add in some fresh or some uh, frozen spinach. You can use fresh, it doesn't really matter. And that is it. It's gonna stand for five minutes once it's done after this part. So we're gonna close this lid right now. I just wanted to make sure that I had everything in there. And we're gonna put it on the soup and stock setting. I know you can't see it, but trust me, that's what we're doing. And that says 30 minutes, but this isn't gonna take 30 minutes. We're gonna lower the time to 10 minutes. Oh yeah, dinner in 10 minutes. And hit the start button, baby. And that is gonna be done, and then we're gonna release the steam. As I said, add the coconut milk, some fresh lime to it and the spinach, let it sit for five minutes and we're gonna have dinner. It's gonna be that simple and that yummy. All right, there you go. Let me just show you right now. It's getting ready, it's going under pressure and um, that's how simple it was. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thanks for watching Pamper Chef Cindy. Oh, and look over here, see this? A whole batch of dog bones just came out of the oven. I'm gonna have those this weekend at the um, Good Shepherd School Craft Fair for the holiday. So come on by and say hi. Thanks for cooking with Cindy.